<laughs> it's a food orgasm, this is. And if I have to tell the tale. So is that any one of the Yeah, yeah. What? Is this thing? With what Yes. No, it's made into a pub, isn't it? And that's kosher then. <laughs> 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 but how kosher is it? It's an animal. Can I have a kosher? Can anyone back me up on this? Who's the most religious person here? Hello? <laughs> anyone know who back me up? Next to her is Patricia from Argentina. She's our part of our high school branch. It went to Argentina in 1929 and stayed there. And then the grandfather died in 1936. She's the only one coming from that branch there. Mm -hmm. To the party, the rest of the group can't. The children okay. came last time. Now we've got what? Last time. Oh yeah, time. last time. Her mother came. Her mother came. Her aunt came. Her mother came. Her aunt and everything. Right, this is fascinating. This is the first time I've ever seen Jay-Z Cook Lane in the knee. And uh, Amanda. Yeah. Now the problem is, if only uh, Marjorie was here, she was here last night, because Marjorie found you for me. Marjorie lives nearby. These are missing parts from the Abram branch, which are fascinating, because all the ones... You know, how many of you have seen the DVD? Did you see Victor on the first disc, the, the Russian guy, who's going around all the monuments in Riga yeah. and explaining yeah. what happened. Okay, right, his family, his, his grandfather Lee had a brother called Baruch that they didn't know about, and I traced. Now that was your great-grandfather, right? Correct. We knew that Baruch had two children, Maya and uh, Lee, and we didn't, and, and something, something Lee, we didn't know that he had a third child called Tobias, who was your, your grandfather. And Tobias had another son called Maya, obviously named after the uncle Maya. And then Maya had you, which is a whole branch we didn't know about until now. So the Is who met the Israelis last night, you know, before, on the other night, yeah. No. This is their family they haven't met yet. No. So they didn't so Meyer Cookley, Meyer Cookley, yeah. our dad, David and my, my brother David. I don't believe it was ever mentioned. And my brothers Richard and Peter, who are both back in New York and in New Jersey, are here. We are, we were the only Cookleys in the world. I don't <laughs> and we, we but David and I came with Amanda, and tomorrow my two daughters, not my son, will be here. We're Cookley, K U K L E. Yeah, but you're not. This is what I'm trying to tell I you. I know, but you two call, weeks ago, I'm you call to yourself Cookley now, but like the ones in Canada, that is K U K L E is supposed to be Cookla. Well, that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> it's the way it is. It was originally Cookla, but they started calling it Cookley. <laughs> but I promise you, Baruch was Baruch Kukla. I promise you, I can assure you, I know exactly what part of the family you come from. I gave my daughter her middle name, K-E-K-L-A, because That's... I thought I must continue the name. You must. You must. <laughs> but you are Kuklas, just to change the year at the end. And then my family, my mum's grandfather was Kukla. When he came to England, they called him Kuklin. They're still the same family, and his family and theirs was Kuklin. K U K L I N. That way. There are 20 different variations of how they spell Kuklin when they went into the diaspora, and it's all still the one family. Okay, now here we've got Eugene from Omsk in Siberia. We had a nightmare getting him a passport, a visa for the passport. He applied, and three weeks later he found that he was in tears because they weren't doing anything about it. So I paid a special fee to go to the British consulate in, in the Moscow, the, the office in England, and I kept, they ignored me too. They, they have a thing where you pay a one pound thirty seven per minute per call and it goes on oh, no, they keep on hold and so on it's a scam i think and in the end i've been on the phone for an hour or two. but you found in brooklyn that was there and you find it oh, no i knew i knew he no he is part of lillian's family he, he when we first found lillian and Kirsch, 
by strange comedy of errors because Rochelle Bates, who I told you about, knew Lillian, but she tried to say that it was from her family, which it wasn't, her branch. When I worked out where they were, they were the only ones we had from the Yossel branch. And Lillian said, I'm going to come to the reunion and be the only one from Yossel. And now we've had more from Yossel than anyone else, I think. Including you, There's loads more coming. From their bar, they're coming from Israel, Alexander Caffey, they're coming from Israel. There's loads of them. So I want to make sure we keep going. Hang on. Right, Keith Kledman here and F Philip Corklin, they're from the laser branch. Yeah, you can play. Yeah. Shh. Try and explain how they're related, dear Pete. <laughs> she wants to spill the cocoa over me. My back's soaking wet. Right, so. Anne started it all. We found the Rodners from Elikim's branch, there's nobody here tonight from that branch. The woman at the Oslo Jewish Museum found these, this family. She spoke to my cousin who lives in Norway. She said, I think these are your family. They're called Cochlin, but because it's from Latvia, they're called Kukla. So it's the same family. So the Cochlins have a guy in Bohem Wood where Anne is called Ruben Rodner because uh, Ruth Cochlin married a Rodner. So they're all coming to the reunion anyway. Ruben Rodden is his next door neighbor. Is he next door? Uh, he lives about 10 doors down. 10 doors, okay. Ruben Rodden is his neighbor. <laughs> so Ruben was telling Anne about how his neighbor just did the baby on the bathroom floor because he came so quick. And she said his name's Philip Corklin. So I don't know why Ruben didn't realize if his grandfather was called Corklin and he's Corklin with one letter difference and R. Why didn't he suspect that you were related? I don't understand yeah. that. <laughs> anyway, his father's aunt, his great aunt, Zara. Now, Zara is the most best case of inbreeding I've ever seen because her father, Max Corklin, and the, his brother, Laser Corklin, named after the original of their family. The names occur over and over. They came to England. The other four brothers and sisters went to America. But Max, Laser's son, Clive Corklin, married his brother Max's daughter, Zara. So Zara Corklin married Clive Corklin and stayed Zara Corklin. She's the only one still alive of that generation. She had a suitcase with 1,000 old black and white photos. So we saw how the laser section has 550 pages more than you. Amazing old pictures, all in that First World War and all in period costumes, just amazing. So uh, this, is, this Corklin Park here, a very important part of the family tree, we wouldn't have known about if not for Anne over there. So we're going to you. Okay, the Nebraska Corklins, which has taken me years to trace. They're part of Hirsch, which you are as well. So we've got Shelly here from Denver. No? Seattle. Yeah. Seattle, of course, sorry. Cal from Denver. Cheryl, what's it here in? Florida. 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 Well, gave me the run around terror. At first, yeah. she was nice, then she yeah. turned nasty on me. And she emailed all her cousins and said, Boycott in Libby, not have any to do with it. What? No, but this is how it happened. And anyway, it put me off in Nebraska cooking for a while. I didn't know how nice they were. And Howard Coleman reached me on Genie on the website, out of the blue. He said, I know you've been researching the cooker family. Anyway, that's my thanks to Howard. He had his hand in this with all the art shooters and everybody on it. That's his one. No, no. Yeah. yeah, he's from the Weinsteins. I mean, it's amazing. Susan, Susan's mother, Betty, who recorded a special video message, is 93. And your Uncle Bill, Uncle Bernie, you call Uncle Babe, is 95. Yeah. They, they're the, there were three surviving children of those Navasu 11 actually still alive. And the youngest Arlen is 87. They've all done video messages for the party. So he embraced it with open arms, thank God, when he found out about what I was doing. Because no one's ever traced your part of the family, have they, completely? 
Only that little handwritten thing that you had. Yeah. I think we've completed it now. Yeah. Sort of bigger than you thought. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, he knew his stuff. Yeah. No, I'm he didn't just know saying where it fitted in. He yeah. didn't understand where Elliot fitted in. I did. I knew about that, but I didn't know how many. I, Rochelle Bates says there's about 30 Nebraska cookers. I didn't know any of the country until he showed up more like, you know, 800. So they all settled in Nebraska. I mean, this wonderful man here, yeah, it's one of those red states. he's a solicitor yeah. from Johannesburg. <laughs> he is the only one coming to the party from his branch. We met his first cousin the other night. Who was at the, the Kosher restaurant the other night? Lillian, you were there. Who was there on Monday night at the Sands? The Kosher restaurant, Golden Green. Anyone else? Patricia. Patricia, did you go to Sammy's on Monday night, Golden Green? Did you go to the Kosher restaurant? No, you didn't. Okay, so you're the only one who met them. His first cousin, Amanda Penke from Australia, was in London for one night since she came in at Well, I met him to the picture. But otherwise, we have nobody from his branch, the Dov Asriel branch. By having him here, we have somebody from all nine branches we can take a photo of this beginner dinner and introduce each branch. Here's a representative of each of the nine branches. Okay. John Cookler and his wonderful wife Faye. I was when I found this name Cookler, I was looking for every spelling variation. Like C W O K L A, C W O K L A L E R. And I found some cooklers on Facebook. I found a guy, they, they were all in Norway, but one guy called Chad Cookler. Chad Cookler was the son of his first cousin, Ron. So Chad told me he had no idea who his ancestors were, and therefore he said, I'll let you talk to my dad. My dad couldn't even remember the name of his grandfather. All he knew is his father was Milton and his mother Miriam. I started googling New York, what year they lived there and everything. I discovered that Milton was a son of Isidore Cooker. Right? Mm -hmm. And I then went, phoned up Ron and I said, does Isidore Cooker? He said, yes, that's the name of my grandfather. I couldn't remember it. <laughs> so I went to check the Latvian records. There's an Isa Cooker, I-S-A-Y, who married a Fanny Hanf, H-A-N-F, Fanny Hanf. And that what happened is, they went to a, a boat and sailed to Ellis Island in New York in 1905, and they entered. I found the immigration records of Isidore Cookler, and I found out that he arrived in Ellis Island in 1905, and with his wife Fanny Cookler, which was the same Isidore Cookler, the son of Schroll Cookler, who was the son of Hirsch. So all you Nebraska Cooklins here, Hirsch here, your great great grandfather, but you know, he is he is equivalent to Elliot's father. That's his grand his Schroll was Elliot was uh, was Avs's brother. So therefore your grandfather is a yeah. was first cousin to Elliot who had the eleven. See? So it all ties up in the end. Okay, that's my mum who was born in Preston, England, now lives in Florida. This is the greatest find ever. This man here, I consider him to be the father of our family. This is Gersh Cooklia and Lillian, who is wonderful. I call her my big sister. So Lillian, Gersh, Gersh, listen, hello, listen, Gersh. Gersh had the most tragic life. When he was 14, his mother took him out of Latvia to escape the Nazis. They fled with him and his brother. And the father got shot, the, 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 the fascist sympathisers said, look, you do, you know, he's a Jew. They put him on the wall and shot him. But worse, the grandfather, his grandfather, Mikhail, was the shamus at the synagogue in Riga, called the Korn Synagogue in Gogol Street, which is famous if you look it up. It was 1,200, you said, yes? Yes. 1,200 Jews, they herded them in, nailed the doors shut, poured gasoline and set fire to them alive. The most terrible tragedy of our family. And I was just, I'd heard about this. I felt we had to never forget this. You know, something so important to our family. We should never forget what happened. Anyway, Lillian and I became such close friends. But the Rochelle Bates I mentioned earlier originally thought Lillian was from Hershey's branch and that her, gra her Gersh's grandfather was the guy we have a passport called David Cooker, but it wasn't. He knows. He knows. 
Not only does he know his father was grandfather of Mikhail, but when they met the Waltz, which uh, Howard set up, yes, Howard found. Howard, for me, found his missing family. He never knew they existed. He'd gone to Nebraska. Not the same family that went to Nebraska, you lot, but a cousin who went there because her, her cousins were there, not her immediate family. And therefore, we, we reunited them. And they said the same thing. The grandfather was Mikhail and Sarah. It's just all tied in. Okay, similar story to Ida Toka here. Ida Toka's grandfather, Edel Hooker, who she named after, Edel was gassed in Auschwitz at 84 years old. And her father lost all five of his siblings, apart from one who went to Paris. And at worst, her father lost his wife, Hannah, and five children, yes? The youngest was two, yes? They were all taken to Auschwitz and gassed. You never knew what happened until I found the records from Yav Hashem to show that were all gassed in Auschwitz. Can you imagine that he would, what he felt like? He married again and had one daughter, and she's still here. But can you imagine how lucky we are to have her? And she found me. She'd been looking for couplers all her life, and she found me, thank God. And she comes from Riga, where Gersh and Lillian were born, about the same time you left. One year different, or three years different. Okay, right, so we got Carol, and <laughs> Mike. Carol, as I said, is part of the Nebraska branch, as is Cheryl Lynn. Cheryl did the most fantastic review, just wonderful, of uh, my DVD for the book. But more importantly, the best picture of the Nebraska Cooklings were held by Charles Ezra, who was Ida Ezra's son. Now, Charles is very fanatically from the most religious man you'll ever meet. And uh, your Aunt Marilyn never forgave him because when his mother was dying, he was dabbing and sure it wouldn't go to her bedside. You know that story? Yes. Okay. Carol and uh, her sister Nancy, who we had dinner with last night, went to Chicago just for me. Just for me. And went to Charles and they persuaded him to let her marry up. Tell them how many cases of photos we had. We went through four big suitcases of photos and other documents and um, it was quite the experience. It was really something. And I'm very happy that he allowed us to do that. It was well, uh, um, Dov has three. Yeah. Hatskill has his four. Abraham here is five. Have I missed any? And Yossel, of course. Yossel is here is six. Have I missed any branch that's here tonight? So, Ida. Ida. Where are you? Have you actually met Jonathan Cooker? Because he's your close. We worked out on the map, he's your second cousin, what's your, he's your second cousin, basically. You met him? You met him? Yeah. After dinner. You, the Nebraska ones, because there were so many generations down, it's slightly further removed. Then it's a great, 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 great. Okay, we bet. My, my great grandfather was like a great grandfather. I hope I didn't bore you a little. I just want to explain yeah. how you're saying. So, um, so my great grandfather was later. So then it was great. Ida, please try and meet your great 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 grandfather. Hey Ian, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Something to base my life on, really. And then, I don't know what I'm going to do after next week. Cook her family, we want to hear from you. Come on, you do your Welcome to London. Yes, thank you. I'm Herr Spokia, born in Riga. 
Thank you very much for the helping to find it. In 1977, we were lucky. We can move out from the Soviet Union. They gave us a permit to go out. It really was, was very lucky what they gave us because if you know the history, very 
many many Jews won't go out yet. Very seldom who get a, a permit to go out. And when we go out, we was almost poor because we nothing to give you to trade with you. We have to pay a lot. My, da- with my son-in-law, with two grandchildren, they were one year old and three years old. Yes. You have the picture. The now it is 40, 40 years, but we live in Atlanta. I bought a lot. I, when I come there, I was 50 years old, and I find my job. I'm an industrial sewing machine technician. And I worked for the company 32 years. I worked till 82. And I retired the second time. I retired in 65 or 65 years ago. And they asked me to stay. So I stay all I'm making. And I, I, I live with my wife 67 years. 67 years. years. <laughs> Look, please, Gersh Cook here, 90 years old, everybody, you got to play with I consider him the patriarch of the Walker family, this wonderful man, he's the essence from Latvia, of whom we all come from. Yes. Lenin, but books of the Muslim come, so Lenin bought the flag.